Food waste is one of the UK's biggest problems. A third of what we buy each year we throw away, £10 billion worth. And that's not counting commercial or industrial food waste. Most ends up in holes in the ground, poisoning the land and producing vast amounts of methane, a gas 22 times more destructive than carbon dioxide in terms of global warming. Now a British company, Biogen Greenfinch, is taking that food waste and turning it into carbon-free electricity and environmentally sustainable fertiliser. This anaerobic digestion plant is filled with food waste from homes and factories. As the food waste is broken down, it gives off methane, which is burnt in a super-efficient gas engine to generate electricity. All that's left is a liquid fertiliser, which goes back onto the land to grow crops. Already, major food producers are bringing their waste to be disposed of in this environmentally sustainable way. And thousands of homes across Britain are separating food waste to save it from landfill. I'd hate to think that all my rubbish was going to landfill and by putting the food waste into that bin you know that it's going to a, a good cause and it's going to renewable energy and fertiliser. Recycling food waste has big implications for our local services like schools and leisure centres. Councils pay billions of pounds in landfill tax, money they'll save to spend on us by diverting your food waste to plants like Biogen Greenfinch's unit at Westwood in Northamptonshire, where 45,000 tonnes of food waste a year will generate power for up to 3,000 homes non-stop. Biogen Greenfinch is unique. It is the only specialist British anaerobic digestion company that can design, build and operate large-scale anaerobic digestion plants with a proven track record. We're helping climate change, uh, we're producing renewable energy and biofertiliser and we plan to have a national network of sites just like the one we have here at Westwood. Biogen Greenfinch leads the way with the very greenest solution to food waste. In a world where oil, gas and coal are in increasingly short supply, it's comforting to know that we can turn this into this to help safeguard all our futures. <laughs>